Ah, attends. Mike's Daily Podcast. FFF episode 1560-1570, I mean. 1570-1570. Where today I talk about clueless actress Stacey Dash. Oh, wait, no, that was the last show. This show's going to have different stuff, I think. Maybe. We'll see. I don't know. It's going to be great. Oh. Mike's Daily Podcast is the name of this show. I am Mike Matthews. Mike's Daily Podcast. Wow. And today we hear from Adam Rudabega Valentino and Bison Bentley. Mike's Daily Podcast. I have to tell you that yesterday I was walking my dog. I saw the boxer. And we were having a great day. I was intoxicated. And oh my gosh, Jeff Dunham is coming to the Bay Area. That guy is a talentless piece of crap. What? You like him? Oh, I, uh, I, uh, apologize. He's so. Mike's Daily Podcast. Talented. I can't do puppets. I can't do puppets. I would never do a puppet. And that's just Mike's how I am. Daily but he makes his own puppets, Mike. Podcast. Don't pick on Lena Dunham's dad. Yeah. No, that's not Lena Dunham's dad. That's just Jeff Dunham. And he's big in rural America. Could we laugh at people that are funny and clean simultaneously and talk about terrorists and bombing them? He's great. So, hey, I love when you text me. Oh, look, I just walked in. At 336MM Daily. That's 336MM Daily. And I love it when you text those little cartoons of that girl with the glasses going, Just do it! Or of Tigger from Winnie the Pooh going, Have a great Tuesday! What is it with everybody's doing these enhanced emojis with the slogans on them now? What's that all about? What's happening there? Look who else walked in. You know, everybody's a comedian. Even our president likes to do a little comedy now and then. He does. In fact, he does that. Here's his favorite slogan. What was that all about? (laughs) I know. Do it again, Mr. President. What was that all about? (laughs) I'm giggling like a little tigger. Hey, the most wonderful thing about tiggers is that tiggers are wonderful things. Their coats are made out of rubber, their tails are made out of springs, and they're bouncy, 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 bouncy. That's right. And here's today's podcast picture. Fa la 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 la. The most wonderful thing about tiggers is that I'm the only one. I'm the only one. And I can't find my tigger. Oh, there, there he is, bouncing around. Uh, so. Thus, therefore, henceforth, henceforth is the best. F- Nobody uses that anymore, and I think we should because it's it's awesome and it makes you sound intelligent. Hey, henceforth, look who walked in. Hello, my comrades, Madame Rudabega. Henceforth, I am here. Oh, and this is Valentino, the parking attendant. I don't know what henceforth means. They neither do I. I'm Bison Bentley. Dinner. Papa John's and the NFL have split. The last time I ate Papa John's, or was that Papa Murphy's? There's, I can't get, that's just messed up right there. Here you are, you're a major, it's like me as a show called Mike's Daily Podcast, which has been on the uh, airwaves, quote unquote, the internet's airwaves for almost 10 years now. For eight years. What? Seven? Maybe two. No, wait. Since 2011. You do the math. I can't do math now. I have things going on. Like, I'm scrambling to find the podcast picture at this moment. Which, I don't think I will be able to find it. Because I am full of stress at this moment. (sighs) Just gotta calm yourself down. And check yourself before you wreck yourself. That's all you gotta do. It's magic like that. Do you believe in magic? I think as a society, we need to stop being so gray prejudiced. We are too prejudiced against gray people and gray dogs. 
Let me explain. As I was walking Basil the Boxer a couple of weeks ago, I mentioned this, that somebody saw my dog who, whose face has gone completely gray. He used to have a black muzzle, and now it is gray. And this guy says to me, and I don't know who he was, but he was a jerk. And he said to me, hey, your dog's really old. I bet he can't see very well now. I bet he can't see. His eyes are all glazed over and he's blind. And yes, you might say, Mike, why do you take such offense to this? This has to do with a dog. A dog who really, if you were to, if he were to listen to this podcast, he would have no freaking clue as to what you were discussing at this moment and point in time. And yes, you are true with your saying of this. By the way, the podcast picture is of Shadow Cliffs in Pleasanton. And the beautiful clouds being reflected in the pools of Shadow Cliffs, which I don't go to anymore because there was a bad incident that I heard about on the Facebooks from a friend of mine where a guy was walking along and this lady came by with her dog and the dog totally attacked and left this guy's dog bloody and then just walked away and just left total pandemonium. And I, I just get a bad vibe from Shadow Cliffs. But here's a great po- podcast picture. Shadow Cliffs, by the way, which used to have a water slide, which used to have, it was like a water slide park in Pleasanton at one time. And those just suddenly disappeared. What happened there? What's that all about? As the president would say, what does he say? He says, what was that all about? Thank you. And you got to make sure to get that at the end. What was that all about? Um, my, henceforth, my point being is yesterday as I was walking, Basil the Boxer, we, I look far off on a hillside, I see four deer. That's the plural of deer is deer. However, the plural of beer is beers. Hmm? What's happening there? What's that all about? What was that all about? That's the last time. That's the last time, I swear. And so he he sees the deer up on the hill as well. And I'm looking at him. I'm like, wow, he sees those deer far away. And he's, he's looking and he's getting excited. So that guy gets two birds, two fingers in a particular position right in his freaking face. Hey, I am... Uh, uh, I know I'm fuming and I'm, I'm venting a, a tad. I would like to vent a little bit about people that I work with in radio who are broadcasters, who do a show, who have a following, who are big in the Bay Area. By the way, people, this is how, how I don't understand. When people go, okay, let me first say, present the problem to you. The problem is uh, the broadcasters that I work with are never on time. They're lazy. They they don't tell me that they're going to be late. They don't tell me that they're not going to do their show. And I have to do all the work to get something on the air that still ke- stays consistent with what their show is. So basically, I'm doing all the grunt work for them, and they give me nothing. They leave me in the dark. I am mushrooms. I am left in the dark, and I smell bad. So it's it's it, it's annoying, very very annoying, and inconsiderate as all get out, inconceivable. And I'm not that guy, though. I am bald like him, and don't be a gray prejudice or bald prejudice is the point of the show. No, the point is, so they're lazy. I work with a couple people like that that are lazy that don't tell me what's supposed to be on, and they, they forget that they do a daily show. Okay, I do a daily podcast. I have always, unless there has been an extreme emergency, which has only happened a few, few times, where suddenly I got really sick, or suddenly Basil the Boxer, who I speak of glowingly, of course, got really sick, and I had to take care of things, and I couldn't do the podcast. Uh, I I will usually tell you, I have always told you, you know, I know this is a fact, if I, you know, I've got uh, the weekend show. I don't do Saturdays. I've always told you this. I may or may not do a Sunday show. Uh, I, I'm, I always give you fair warning if I'm going to miss a day because this is a daily podcast. But I, I give you advanced warning. And this is a show that I don't get paid for. I've never made money on this show. 
I expend money on this show to pay for the website, to pay for the domain name. And yet these people, one of whom gets paid to do this job, the other has to pay to do their show on that. They don't tell, they don't say, they don't care. It's crazy to me. And the, my boss always tells this story about how in San Francisco radio, there's some huge famous name. I don't know who I can. I, I don't care about radio people. I don't like, they're not popular to me. Popular radio person, that's an oxymoron. It doesn't exist because radio people to me do not in any way have talent. All they do is back announce songs or they talk about the issues of the day. Some of them can be clever with how they talk about the issues of the day. And I find them interesting. And, and, and there are podcasts that I like that, that, you know, they get into issues or they're entertaining in some way. But for the most part, radio people, they just back it out songs. In fact, somebody was trying to show me a YouTube video of like an old time DJ going, Hey, it's five past the hour. We're playing the latest from the monkeys. Here's I'm not your stepping stone. And, you know, and then all of a sudden the vocals start. I'm not. And they perfectly, they, they call that talking, uh, talking up to the post. And that they, for some reason, this other person was, Oh, that's the most amazing thing ever. No, that's not. That's not. That's just timing. You just know. I guess comedy is just timing. It's just knowing when to drop the funny. But no, I think there's more to the, than that. No, you just need this drum. That's all you need for comedy. So I don't find radio people to be in any way worthy of the name celebrity or popular or wow. And if they get caught up in their own ego, that they're even more idiotic to me. And the very few radio people actually make any money anymore. And that there was a time they would make millions and millions of dollars, some of them, and I don't understand why. But that being said, I've just shot myself in the foot, and that's okay, because I have, I guess I'm not ever going to make money, but I wasn't anyway, doing this shtick, and doing this podcast, as you know, boy, that was a big explosion. It just kept going and going. So... This person was talking about how this famous radio person in San Francisco, who I don't remember the name, was always late. And the news guy who came on that was supposed to, that was always there and always had to, it was punctual as hell and would tell the, you know, the news at the top of the hour. He took over the show because the guy was always late. He just took over the show. And then that news guy became the most popular person in San Francisco. He always tells me this story and I go, okay, I take some heart in that. But, the like there's this guy we have part time who's on the national syndicated network station and he I've talked about him before loves to hear the sound of his own voice and uh, doesn't say a thing and he's got his headphones cranked up as loud as possible so you can hear the sound of his own voice he talks like that and just says nothing and I was about to bash him even further and then I heard him come into his show with the music from a Genesis song and not just not a Peter Gabriel Genesis song but an early early not popular Phil Collins song before Phil Collins got popular and he was talking about how this album came out and then there were three came out 40 years ago today can you believe that and then I thought that was rather interesting so I'll stop bashing him but my point being Just do it. Have a great day. No, it's the last day of February. That was a short month. It wasn't the leap year February where we get the extra day. Nope, it's done. And that means we're one day closer to taxes and one day closer to me crying. And don't get your taxes done early, though. That's stupid, as we talked about on the last show. And don't be a lazy broadcaster. And don't make fun of gray people. And enjoy Shadow Cliffs, even though your dog might get attacked by someone's crazy stray dog. I don't get that at all. But the what happened in the news today, other than Papa John's saying goodbye to... I'll stop that voice. Boy. They, and they, they talk like that. It's, it's terrible. What? Speaking of dogs, Barbara Streisand cloned her dog twice. This, it, on the Variety cover story, she revealed that two of her dogs have been um, cloned. Miss Violet and Miss Scarlet were cloned from her 14-year-old 
Cotton Dutulier, and I don't even know what the hell kind of dog that is. And I know all kinds of dog breeds, and I don't know what that is. Uh, who died in 2017. Before Samantha died, Barbara Streisand had cells taken from her mouth and stomach. They have different personalities. I'm waiting for them to get older so I can see if they have Samantha's brown eyes and seriousness. Oh my gosh. Oh, that was music that was uh, connected to that Variety article. Because you can't have enough candles on while you're reading Variety. You can't have enough incense. So, I heard this, by the way, the guy, the pukey guy I was talking about earlier. He was bashing Dick's Sporting Goods because Dick's is no longer going to be carrying automatic rifles. And something, something else they're doing. I didn't quite catch the whole story, but... He's like, how can Dix do that? Now we're just going to boycott Dix. And uh, hello, idiot. It, it is on all over the news, the 911 call where the lady years ago, where the, the police should have picked up on this, the FBI, everybody else should have picked up on this, that uh, the guy, Nicholas Cruz, was going to get a gun from Dix. It was all over the news. So Dix is kind of like saying, let's not be sticks and let's... Let's back out of this as, as and be and and do a little spin on this. And they're trying; they're doing the right thing. I agree with them on that. The first time I ever saw Dick's Sporting Goods store was in Alabama, and it was huge, but not as big as the what is it? The Bass Bass Sea Bass, Bass uh, Lake. That shows you how <laughs> much into sporting goods I am. That they have a huge one out like near Modesto, this big one here in California, but they're all over the South. I remember one outside of that was in the the, the the mall in Savannah, Georgia, and it had a gushing waterfall and a guy holding up a trout, a um, mannequin. Uh, I forget the name of that place, but SeaWorld CEO Joel Manby is stepping down. Sea, SeaWorld has just had not the best of luck. Not the best of luck. <laughs> Good riddance is what that dolphin just said. Get the hell out. Don't let the door hit you on the way out. Don't let the door hit your flipper on the way out. So the here's the thing about the Florida students returning to what they call picture of education in fear, according to Associated Press. I wish them all the luck, and I love the movement that they've started about, hey, we'll vote you out. We'll vote you out if you get money from the... N NPR, no the NRA. One of those N N somethings. NBC. You get all that money. No, it's not a joking matter. But they, I'm I'm a little bit afraid that they're gonna get a little. They're you know, very heated rhetoric. How can they keep that intensity? Is what I'm. I know they're coming from something so painful, so horrific. But you know, can you see this? Extrapolate this out two years from now. Are they going to be able to hold that intensity? Are they going to be able to keep that fervor? Are they going to keep us as fervent along with them? I'm hoping. But I mean, the some of them are just amazing. Of uh, uh, what they've what they've been able to get going in the the conversation, and you know, they're keeping. It, they're not just quietly letting this go on, as it seems like so often. We've just passed it by, as you know. Kushner, Russia, bombshells are rocking the White House. A volley of stunning, stunning revelations over Jared Kushner and the Russian Pope. You know, yesterday the big talk was about Jared Kushner losing his security clearance. Um, Donald Trump's inner circle being rocked to suggest a pivotal moment is at hand in the West Wing personnel wars that have raged through the presidency. First it emerged yesterday that Chief of Staff John Kelly downgraded the clearance top security clearance for Jared Kushner in a bid to clear up a scandal over whether top administration players are qualified to access the most sensitive intelligence. Then the Washington Post published a bombshell report that at least four countries had discussed how to use Kushner's sparse experience, financial troubles, and intricate business arrangements to manipulate them and manipulate him rather. Hours later, CNN reported that special counsel Robert Mueller is asking questions about Trump's business dealings with Russia before the president's campaign, a potentially significant development 
in the investigation. That from CNN. As we go outside a cafe anyway, where are we bring you Mike's Daily Podcast? Somewhere in Podcastro Valley. The last place on earth. And I say it's better to get along with Russia than not. Mm, that's not as good as a catchphrase as the other one that I played repeatedly. What's this all about? What's going on? What happened? There. Next show, we will have the wonderful Shelly Shuhart Floyd, the floor man, John Deere, the engineer. My point is, I'm always going to be honest with you. I'm always going to tell you the truth. I'm always going to, damn it, I forgot to talk about getting the question yesterday. Somebody, we were on a walk with some friends with Basil the Boxer, and somebody asked me, so Mike, how's your love life? And I freaking just stopped like a deer in the headlights. Just, and it's one deer. Had it been two deer... It would have been deer in the headlights. And I, deer's on, a deer, whatever that expression is, I could not, my dear, ha- have an answer. I, I said, nothing. Nothing's going on. Nothing. It's quiet, all quiet. There's crickets. And I have a cricket sound effect for you here. And that's what I went through. I had nothing to say. Maybe someday I'll have something to say. And I'll be honest with you and let you know how it goes. And then that will sabotage my relationship. And then I'll be back to this, where I am right here, right now. Ta-da! So next show, Shelly Shoe Shark, Shar- whatever her name is, Floyd the Floorman and John Deere the Engineer. Mike's Daily Podcast is written and produced and performed by Mike Matthews. His podcast is super easy to find. Download or listen to his show and read his blog at mikesdailypodcast.com. Email Mike now at mikesdailypodcast at gmail.com. See you tomorrow. Bye tomorrow. Bye.